A nonprofit in the upstate aimed at healing veterans through music held a fundraiser tonight. That money will go to purchasing instruments and teaching veterans songwriting. Our Stephanie Borman explains. Rich Owen served in the Air Force for 20 years. Now he spends his time writing country music and performing on different stages. The country music artist says his wife gave him a guitar as a gift, and it didn't take him long to fall in love with songwriting. I think people are happiest when they're creative. Owen learned about Soldier Songs and Voices through his recording label. Soldier Songs and Voices is a nonprofit that teaches veterans songwriting and gives them free music lessons. Experts view it as a form of post conflict care. The whole purpose is to, to uh, kind of use music as a form of, of uh, therapy to get over things or to move on or again just to give them something else in their life that is creative. Owen says he didn't think twice when he was approached to help jump start the Greenville chapter, a much needed outlet for veterans according to local therapist and co-founder Neil Sondov. Something as simple and yet as profound as music. Again, the neuroscience shows uh, that the art of songwriting uh, works with the synapses that have been damaged by uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. The organization held a fundraiser in Greenville Saturday. Several bands performed, and the proceeds from the concert will go to purchasing instruments. Co-founder Charles Hedgepass says in addition to free instruments, veterans will also get a chance to learn from artists they admire. I want the veterans, the people that show up, to be able to you know, write with people that they want want to write with, so it might be a country person one, one month, it might be, I mean, everything with hip hop, jazz, you know, it doesn't matter because it's all music. Stephanie Borman, 7 News. The first workshop will be held on Sunday, October 6th from 4 to 6. It's going to be at Smiley's Acoustic Cafe in downtown Greenville. And if you'd like to learn more, you can visit our website at WSPA.com.